So just to welcome you tonight, prayer this evening. I hope you're well. I hope you've had a good day and that you're keeping well and all the family and your loved ones are well. And it's been a, a mixed enough day, uh, weather-wise. But sure, look, all all days we can get to the end of our good days. So we we gather to pray, and as you see, the theme for tonight's night prayer is to keep going. Uh, perseverance is again features in in the scripture and how our 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 hope and our faith are, have, are there to help us to persevere and maybe sometimes uh, we might feel feel we can't persevere we might feel a little a little weary of, of persevering or tired and that's that's only natural our, our kind of enthusiasm wanes at stages of course so tonight we're going to reflect on, on and that, uh, I suppose, spirit evidence that's within us that helps us to persevere. So as always, we, we, we gather and, and, and we pause. We literally just pause uh, for a moment. Now I just see that one of the arms of the, the camera is catching that. So hopefully that's better. So, and I'll just redirect you, sorry. So we, we, we pause for a moment and we... we take a breath as such and we breathe as it says on the thing and, and then just we'll just be you know prayer isn't about having massive expectations it's it's about just being in the presence of the one who loves us being present to that presence and just being and then of course yeah we, we bring that to prayer and we can put words on our prayers and we don't have to put words on our prayers god knows the prayers and the people we carry in our hearts and then we'd encourage you to let go, to let uh, go and let God put whatever prayers or concerns in God's hands. And then hopefully we finish prayer by being more loving because that's what prayer causes us to do. It kind of empties us of ourselves and God knows it's good to empty us of, of ourselves so that there's more room for God. It's that St. John the John the Baptist quote I must decrease so you must increase so as always we're going to start with a piece of music and some images uh, and just take the opportunity to, to breathe and let your breath help to bring you into that present moment just feel yourself breathe in through your nose and out through your mouth feel yourself breathe in that peace and that stillness and that love that you need and breathe out the worries and the anxieties and the concerns. And just breathe in and breathe out gently. And be aware of the fact that you are breathing. And let your breath heal you and hold you and help you. And bring you into this present moment. And I'll read just the camera when I get this going. Hopefully. Oh, sorry now.
So we pray, glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. I'm going to show you a clip. Uh, it's about Derek Redmond. Both my clips, but the clip and the few words I'm going to say are, are based around runners and, and experiences they've had and how it, they both have encouraged us to keep going. I think you'll enjoy this clip. I hope. So that's Derek Redmond, the famous Great Britain athlete who was running in the Barcelona Olympics. And he was one of the favourites to, to win a medal. to walk towards the line and his father helped him across the line to keep him going and this is just a, another story of John Stephen Aquari he represented Tanzania in the 1968 Olympics and there's no footage of this but the, 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 that Olympics was in Mexico and there was a lot of great hope resting on his shoulders but unfortunately the altitude caused his legs to cramp severely but he kept going then about halfway through the race there was a f uh, coming together and a falling and in that fall he dislocated his knee halfway through he cut his legs he hurt his shoulder but he got up so with these terrible injuries a dislocated knee and all sorts of wounds and cramped muscles he got up and he kept going he was the last person to finish the race he entered the arena for the final lap there was only a couple of thousand people left but he finished dead last, more than an hour behind the winner, and a cheer went up for the brave runner as he circled the now darkened track. You can see how sparse it was at that stage. Although it seemed like Aquahari had lost the race, 
Everyone who saw him finish knew he was a winner. And in an interview later, a reporter asked, Why didn't you quit when you were hurt and bruised and bloody and discouraged? Why didn't you just quit? And he answered, My country did not send me 5,000 miles to start the race. They sent me 5,000 miles to finish the race. And I suppose that's what we're called to do. This race, we are the human race. We're called to, to see it through as best we can. Scripture says, there's a line in St. Timothy that says, I've finished the race, I've kept the faith. I fought the fight, I've kept the faith. And that's what we're called to do. And of course, in challenging times, it it's, might seem more difficult than when we're tired or weary. But challenges are what makes life interesting. And then overcoming challenges is what makes life meaningful. And we have to put meaning into our lives now more than ever. Someone once said, ships don't sink because of the water around them. Ships sink because of the water that gets in. There's a lot of water around us, a lot of worry, a lot of anxiety, a lot of sickness, a lot of concerns. But ships don't sink because of the water around them. They ship, sink because of the water that gets in. So let's not, as best we can, and I know it's not easy, don't let what's happening around us get inside us. And let's try and persevere. Faith tends to come and go. Courage tends to come and go. Enthusiasm tends to come and go. And that's only human. Christ doesn't come and go. So when we're weary, we cling to the one who keeps on going. And we will keep on going, even if we go slowly. So we bring our prayers to God. And we, you're, you know this right, or wrong, so it's like a verse, so sing it on. discouraged and we pray for the grace to keep going. Ships don't sink because of the wild waters around them. They sink because of the waters that get in. Lord, help us to keep our heads in the midst of these stormy times. Help us to keep the, the worry and the anxiety out and invite you in. We pray for those who want to give up those who are finding it hard, those who are weary and tired. We don't have to have all the answers or all the strength. So Lord, may we reach out to others and draw on their strength and encouragement and find ways to keep going. us going, our parents, our family, our friends, our neighbours, all those who work in our hospitals and nursing homes and care homes, all those on the front line. We thank God for the encouragement and life that they give us and may God bless them. stay hopeful. We pray that they'll find healing and peace. We think of people in nursing homes and hospitals and all those who are unwell here and abroad. May God bless and heal them. We pray that we 
when you face difficulties, you will have the grace to trust that you're stronger than you believe, more resilient than you believe, and more full of light and love than you can imagine. Lord, surgery today, Nora had surgery yesterday, we think of uh, so many people sick with cancer, we think of Noel and Marion and, and Breda and all these people, we bring all those people, because those sick with the virus, be it Mike and DJ, we give them all to God and we pray, our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven, give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O angel of God, our guardian dear, to whose God love commits us here, ever this night be at our side, to light and guard, to rule and guide. Now that the day has come to an end, we thank you, Lord, for family and friends, for all that has happened, both the good and the bad, for the life and the laughter, for the tearful and sad. Looking back on the day, help me to see the ways in which you have walked with me. Guide me. Thank you, Lord, for the stillness of night. Guide family and friends to morning light. For those who won't make it to greet a new day, may they go gently, angels guiding the way. For those sick or in pain or struggling to cope, draw close to them, Lord, and fill them with hope. May we sleep soundly with help from above and awaken with gusto to the agents of love. And so, this piece of music, again, if you're re-watching this, or watching it later, it's going to be muted. There is no two ways around it. But it's called Don't Give Up On Me by Andy Grammer. And the message is, yeah, don't give up. Keep going. Don't give up on me. So it's kind of, I hope you enjoy it. Please, guys. I will fight. I will fight for you. I always do until my heart is black and blue. I will stay, I will stay with you. We'll make it to the other side like lovers do. I'll reach my hands out.
right for you I always know until my heart is black and blue And so uh, we pray that we won't give up and we'll keep always fighting and positive So thanks for being with us and we pray good night, sleep well, stay safe, stay well and God bless Amen. Mm -hmm.